This is Code.org. Let's see what we have here. Which of the following would result in a better digital approximation of an analog black and white image? Increasing the size of each sample square, thus decreasing the number of samples taken. Ooh, well, keep in mind what a sample is, right? A sample is information about that area of the picture. So the less information that we have, I'm not sure that's going to increase quality, right? We need to know a lot of details about that image to have a really crisp, nice, detailed image. Decreasing the size of each sample square, thus increasing the number of samples taken. So more samples, that sounds positive to me. If you have more samples of something, you're more likely to be ha end up with a higher quality result. Right? If I ask you to cook pancakes, why? I don't know. Pancakes are decent. I cooked them for myself. It was cool. And I don't ever let you sample a pancake in your life. Pretty hard. Pretty hard to even imagine what they're like. But if I give you 14 samples and, you know, let you glance at a recipe, well, then maybe you'll get there. Using a few bits to represent the image. Using fewer bits. Nope. Definitely not that. Fewer. Less information. Less detail. Using decimal numbers to represent each pixel? Mm, that seems odd, especially with the number of representations of pixels we have. And if it's black and white, why would we need a decimal? It doesn't say gray scale. That being said, guys, what you really, really want is more information. So decreasing the samples, uh, decreasing the size of the sample taken, that meaning you must take more, right? If you're going to take five uh, spots of a picture, or you have a picture, and you're just going to glance at it four times, or you glance at every inch of it by the inch, grabbing a detailed representation. So the smaller the sample you're taking, the more accurate your image will be. And I actually have a friend to help me out. Well, not exactly my friend, but kind of. Right? So, if I were to ask you to recreate this picture, and I would say you can grab four sample colors, right? So, you get to split it up four times. And now you're going to go, okay, well, if I get four of these colors, I can use this one, this area, this area, and this area. Well, if those are the only samples, the only paints that you can utilize it, yikes, it's going to be really hard to recreate this. Now, what if I say, okay, you need to use a smaller sample size. Right now, the sample size are these huge chunks of squares. What if now I say you're going to use a teeny sample size? Maybe I decrease it by a factor of 10. So now every teeny little square that I'm attempting to make, you get to sample a color from and use that color, right? So if you decrease the sample size, you actually get more data. Ta-da! Onward.